Good morning, Queen Anne's County. Happy Friday. It is October 14th, and we're here with your Rural Report. I'm your host, Rebecca, and this is Patricia, who's going to tell us the weather today. Today, there will be a high of 67 and a low of 50, and it will be cloudy. The following students were nominated for Win the Day. Yennever Velasquez Sanitso, Sam Holdgrave, and Cassidy Alexander. Remember, students and staff can nominate people for the Win the Day, so if a friend f out you, let us know. Today's college visit is Ursinus College at 10.30. Now over to lunch and sports with Troy. Starting with lunch, the lunch special today is going to be a ham and cheese melt. Uh, then you have your regular options, same as every day. Varsity field hockey beat Chrisfield 2 to nothing. Goals were scored by Maddie Pavlik with an assist from Haley Cole. And the second goal was scored by Emily Kepler. Cassie Alexander had one save, and this game gave her and the team their sixth shutout on the season. Great job, guys. For football, we play Stephen Decatur at home today. Back over to the desk for more announcements. Did you know Queen Anne's County High School has a math honor society? 9th through 12th grade students are eligible for as long as they have a 3.0 GPA or higher, have taken at least Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2, and have a 3.0 or higher math GPA. Please reach out to Ms. Coppage for an application or more information. Science National Honor Society members will be available for student-specific tutoring and study hall on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting next week. SNHS members, stop by Mr. Joffrey's room to sign up for time slots. Guitar raffle tickets today are on sale at all three lunch shifts, and there's less than one week left to get tickets, so make sure you get them soon. If you came to the JV field hockey game October 11th or JV football soccer October 13th, then you heard it rock the national anthem throughout the stadium. Now over to Troy for club announcements. Starting with the photography, photography club, uh, their first interest meeting is going to be October 24th from 2.30 to 4.45. If you love to take photos, want to learn how to take photos, or if you would like to improve your photographic skills and knowledge, the Photography Club is a great place for you to learn and share your passion for photography. We hope to see you on October 24th from 2 to 2.30 to 4.45 in Portable 3 with Ms. Mrs. Hawkins and Ms. Hines hosting your advisors. The Dungeon and Dragon Club will also have its second or its next meeting on Monday. The meeting will be begin at 2.30 in Mr. Fulson's room 118. Back over to the desk for more announcements. Did you miss last night's interest meeting about the Peru trip? No worries. See Ms. Beringer in room 208 for more information. Prices will be going up in November, so if you want to come along, act soon. There will be an FFA meeting after school on Tuesday, October 18th in Mr. Stokes' room, room 320. Anyone interested in attending Regional Leadership Conference should attend this meeting. They will also be going over career development events and will be establishing teams for them. Hope to see you there. Collision Careers Pit Stop is after school on Wednesday, October 9th, 4.30 to 6 o'clock. It's at 207 Love Point Road, Stevensville, Maryland. There is free pizza, RC Grand Prix, modify and race high-speed remote control cars for prizes. You can see bodywork and paint demos inside the Caliber Collision Shop and learn about paid technicians' apprenticeships. Grand Prize Drawing is at 5.45 p.m. and you can win a Traxxas remote control car and you must be present to win. Registration is free but limited. It is our lovely tech assistant, Abby Altamirano's birthday, so make sure if you see her, you say happy birthday. All right, and that is all for the report today. Um, have a great weekend.